Hello everyone, in this video today I'm going to talk to you about what is a lever function test. A lever function test is also known as lever chemistries. They help to determine the health of your liver by measuring the levels of proteins, liver enzymes and bilirubin in your blood to find out how well your liver is working. These liver function tests can also be uh, used to monitor the progression or the treatment of an existing disease. So depending on the test, either higher or the lower than the typical uh, levels of these enzymes or, pro enzymes or proteins th that can indicate a problem with your liver. Okay, so what are then different types of tests that are included in liver function test? They include, for example, ALT test, that is al alanine aminotransferase test, AST test, that is aspartate aminotransferase test, ALP test, that is alkaline phosphatase test, test of albumin, test of bilirubin. So then, what is a liver function test? In summary, we can say that liver function test is the test of different enzymes or proteins in the blood of the patient to determine the health status of the liver or how well the liver is working. So then these tests will give us the value in some cases higher value is the problem whereas in some cases lower value is the problem that I'll discuss in the later part of this video. So first test is alanine transaminase or ALT test. Alanine transaminase or ALT is used by body to metabolize the protein. If the liver is not is damaged or is not functioning properly then ALT cannot be released into the blood. Okay so the function of ALT is to is to metabolize the protein but if the liver is damaged or not functioning properly ALT ALT can be released into the blood. Okay, so this causes ALT level increase in the blood. Therefore, higher than what's typical on this test can be a sign of liver damage. Okay, so when there is a liver damage, there is uh, when there is a liver damage. Let's say this uh, this is the liver damage, and there is increase in the increase in the release of ALT in the blood. Okay, so what is the indication? So that means that if there is a higher levels of ALT in the blood that indicates indicates that there is some problem with the liver whereas very high levels over 100,000 units per liter are most often caused by viral hepatitis ischemic hepatitis or injury from drugs or other chemicals okay uh, so typical and atypical ranges as I mentioned these values actually depending on the labs depending on the hospital because they have different way of measuring these uh, different uh, different parameters so uh, as an example ALT level of level above 25 international units per liter in females and 33 international units per liter in males typically they require for the testing and evaluation okay so this is the, they indicate the problem if the levels are above these levels mentioned here again these and uh, values the standard range of these values is is entirely dependent on the labs what kind of kits they use and what kind of techniques they use to measure the next test that is done to examine the liver function is aspartate aminotransferase or AST test aspartate aminotransferase or AST it is an enzyme this is found in several parts of our body that includes heart brain pancreas liver and muscles so whenever there is a liver damage this AST can be released into the bl bl bloodstream okay so whenever there is liver damage AST is released into the bloodstream that means that high level of AST test might indicate the problem with livers or the these uh, any one of these other organs mentioned above so since AST levels are not specific they are not specific marker of liver damage as is ALT so therefore it is usually measured uh, together with ALT to check for the liver problems okay because ALT is not specific for the liver so therefore we also have to measure ALT 
uh, to determine if there is liver damage together with AST level determination. So indication indication is that a high result on AST test that might indicate a problem with your liver or muscles. Elevated AST without elevated ALT may indicate heart or muscle disease. But if ALT, bilirubin, or ALP are also elevated, then that indicates liver damage. Okay. So typical and atypical ranges. Typical range for AST is usually 36 units um, per liter in adults and may be higher in infants and young children. So when the AST level, they are higher than the standard range, then that indicates the problem. Okay. This problem might, might, might not be specific to the liver. Therefore, we have to also perform other tests, for example, ALT, bilirubin and ALP to determine if this is a liver damage or not. Then the next kind of test that is performed under liver function test is called alkaline phosphatase test or ALP test. Alkaline phosphatase, it is an enzyme. It is found in your bones, bile ducts and liver. An ALP test is typically performed in combination with other tests. An ALP test can be used to evaluate the bile duct system of the liver. Alkaline phosphatase test is used to evaluate the bile duct system of the liver. So indication, high levels of ALP may indicate liver inflammation, blockage of bile ducts or bone disease. High levels of ALP may indicate liver inflammation, blockage of bile ducts or bone disease. Typical and atypical ranges, children and adolescents may have elevated levels of ALP, trusted ALP, uh, pregnancy can also raise ALP levels. Typical range for ALP in adults is usually 20 to 140 international units per liter. Okay, so these, what, what does this all indicate? So basically, uh, this slide says that in case of the liver damage, ALP level in the blood increases than the standard values. Again, these values may vary between different labs. Then another test under liver function test is called albumin test. Albumin is the main type of protein that is produced by the liver. It, for, it performs many important functions. For example, albumin nourishes our tissues and transports hormones, vitamins and other substances throughout our body. An albumin test measures how well our liver is making this particular protein. So albumin, it is a protein that is produced by the liver. An albumin test measures how well liver is making this particular protein. So indication, a low result, okay, a low result here. So a low result on this test indicate there is problem with the liver. This occurs in disease such as liver fibrosis, liver cirrhosis, malnutrition or cancer. Typical and atypical ranges, again this depends on the lab, these values. A typical range of albumin is 30 to 35 grams per liter. However, low albumin can also be a result of poor nutrition, kidney disease, infection and inflammation. So albumin level is lower than the standard level in case of liver problems. Then the final test that is performed to evaluate liver function is called bilirubin test. A bilirubin test measures the amount of bilirubin in our blood. It is used to f it, it is used to find the cause of health conditions like jaundice, anemia, and liver disease. What is bilirubin? It is an yellow pigment. Bilirubin is an yellow pigment that occurs normally when part of our red blood cells break down. Okay, so our liver takes the bilirubin from the blood and changes its chemical makeup so that most of it can be passed through stool as bile. So indication, high result on bilirubin test, higher value than the standard value or the normal value may indicate that the liver is not functioning properly. Elevated bilirubin levels uh, with elevated ALT or AST may suggest cirrhosis or hepatitis. Typical and atypical ranges, Typical range for total bilirubin is usually 0.1 to 1.2 milligrams per deciliter. So again, 
the level of bilirubin in the blood will be higher than the normal in case of liver disease.